Hey everybody, I'm Paula Dean and I hope you have room in your recipe box because today we're making cookies. My magnolia lace trumpets are truly one of the prettiest things you've ever eaten. All my friends tell me that my Savannah bow ties with chocolate dipping sauce are the first things to go when they make them for bake sales. And I'll lay it on thick with my loaded oatmeal cookies with brown butter icing. So get out your tins and call your friends. Cookies need a crowd. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to a cookie swamp, but I have a little problem. I got an empty cookie jar and I've got to fill it. But before I can do that, there's about two gadgets that I need to go pick up so we can make these cookies come out quick and easy and perfect. So y'all hang with me, cause we got cookies to bake. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good How are y'all doing? I'm getting ready to bake cookies. Good Maybe morning. you can help show me some things that would make the job a little bit easier. What do you recommend? We've got our traditional professional baker's pan. They're really hard to beat, aren't they? They are. Anything else I can Yes, I think I would actually like to invest in some type of form. Something like a little cone, a little decorative. Yes, exactly. Easy. The okay. cookies that I'm making are trumpet shaped. Oh, I have just the thing. Okay. Okay, so that, you can wrap the cookie right around that real quick, nice that, and tapered. That is Looks perfect. Pretty. Can't wait to use them. Thank you very much, and come again. And if you need anything else, give a yell. Oh, I appreciate it so Thank much. You. Thank Good you. Good day. Bye. Bye now. What a great shop that was. I could have spent half the day there. Kathy had so many great things, and as usual, I overspent, but there was a couple of things that I couldn't resist. But the first cookie we're gonna start with is the Magnolia Lace Trumpets. So we're gonna start with a stick of butter, and a half a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of dark corn syrup. When we get through with them, they're gonna look like little rounds of lace. Gonna turn that off. And we're gonna take our flour and we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ginger. Toss that around into the flour. And then we're just dumping it right in there. And we're just gonna stir them up until all the flour is incorporated in there. The last thing that I'm gonna add though is one tablespoon of Bailey's Irish Cream. Oh, I love that stuff. You could certainly use different liqueurs. Now I've really got something that I wanna show you that I think you'll love, and it's called a Silpat. It's made of silicone and they're just fabulous for cookie baking. They're a little on the pricey side, but I think you'll love it if you locate them. Now to scoop up our batter onto our cookie sheet, I'm gonna use a one teaspoon measuring spoon and a small offset spatula. And this is gonna spread. I know it doesn't look like much batter, but you're gonna be amazed at and how big this cookie actually gets. We're not gonna do but three at the time because they'll get crisp and hard and then we won't be able to roll them. We're gonna put this into a 350 degree oven uh, and bake it for about eight or eight and a half minutes. You'll really have to watch these because your oven may vary a little bit from mine. But I've found that eight and a half minutes is just about perfect. And while those are baking, I'm gonna make the cream that goes inside of them, which really makes this cookie just melt in your mouth. And uh, we're gonna start with some Crisco. <laughs> that sounds yummy already, doesn't it? Good Southern cookie, Crisco and butter. <laughs> All right, that's mixed up. And now I'm gonna heat our milk. I'm gonna get it just nice and hot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna come back over here and add our sugar and cream that together very well. And I'm gonna add one egg white. This is coming together nicely. Now I'm going to add our hot milk, one tablespoon at the time. Mm. 
Now all I have to do is add one teaspoon of vanilla and we're ready to fill. Now let's see if our cookies are ready. All right, these look like they're ready. That was just about perfect timing for us. Now this is when we have to work very, very quickly. They're just still a little bit warm at this point to work with. I'm so excited about this little form. All right, now I'm just gonna turn that over because I really want the lacy part to be on the outside of the cookie. And all we do is slip that out and we've got our trumpet. Look how easy that cone made this. That's just a perfect trumpet. Now while those are getting cool for us, we're gonna come over here and take our piping bag and I'm gonna fill this. These cookies are so pretty when you're finished. And I'm just gonna put the bag down in there and start filling. How beautiful is that? Magnolia lace trumpets. I've just got to have a taste. Oh. I promise you, this one's gonna be the first one gone. Y'all stick around because I'm fixing to show you some neat Savannah bow ties with a chocolate dipping sauce. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. The next cookie we're fixing to make is called Savannah Bow Ties. And every cookie I make, I'll, you'll see me taste it and say, oh, that's my favorite, that's my favorite. That one, no, that one's my favorite. I love this cookie. We're just gonna start with about a half a cup of almond paste. This is a product that's more on the hard side. I'm gonna help it along just by slicing it up, kind of give him a little head start on getting beaten. And we're gonna use one egg yolk, and we're gonna actually use this white in just a few minutes when we're finishing up our cookies. So nothing's gonna go to waste, that's the way I like it. Now, I'm gonna add brown sugar and milk. Now we're gonna take our board and lightly dust it because we don't want this sticking. And then we're gonna move our puff pastry over here. You can buy this in the frozen food section of your grocery store and it's so easy to work with. And we're gonna roll it out to approximately 14 inches. I've even got a tape measure here so that I can kind of gauge it as we go. You know, you, this dish is just hard to mess up when you're using a good product like the puff pastry. It's just fabulous. And this is what we're gonna use on our Savannah bow ties. Now we're gonna cut our puff pastry in the middle, just like that. And now we're going to put that almond filling on one side of this puff pastry. Now there's several different ways that you can do this. I like to periodically drop some. And like I said, this is really the hardest part of this whole cookie recipe, but it's gonna make you look like you're a first-rate pastry chef. I made these cookies for Michael. He loves them. In fact, I sometimes wonder if that's why he asked me to marry him, because he knew he'd have his own personal little cookie baker. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is get a piece of wax paper and some nonstick spray, and we're gonna pat it down that way. I don't know what I'd do without this spray. Comes in so handy. Let's so see how it just goes together just like that. I think I'm even gonna try this. Let's see how that works. <laughs> we just found a new trick. That's great. See, you just learn something new every time you cook. All right, now, 
We're just going to fit one sheet on top of the other, just like that. So we're going to cut 14 one inch strips with our wheel. See those pretty edges? And then we're going to come back and we're going to cut them directly in half, just like that. And we're going to gently pull them apart. Then we're going to pick up our cookie. We're going to give it two twists. And you got yourself a Savannah bow tie. I'm placing these on a cookie sheet with tin foil. I did not spray it because there's so much butter in puff pastry that you're not going to have to worry about it sticking. The next step is to beat that egg white. Remember that egg white that we had left over from the almond filling? Well, we're going to beat that now. We're going to take a little pastry brush and just paint these. And that egg wash is going to give them a pretty shiny coat. I think on these, I'm going to sprinkle a little coarse sugar on them. See how simple those are to make? And they're just going to be spectacular. Now, we're going to put these in the oven, and we're going to let them bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. So they'll be ready in no time. And while those are cooking, I'm going to show you what makes these cookies so grand. All right, I've got sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and some cornstarch. And we're going to break up our chocolate into our pot. And we're going to add our cream. And we've got one egg yolk that we're going to temper into our pot. Tempering means heat slowly. If we didn't temper that yolk into there, it could very well turn out like a scrambled egg in there. And we don't want scrambled eggs and chocolate. And I'm going to beat up this yolk just slightly using a fork. And I'm going to add a little bit of the warm chocolate to that. And I'm going to keep on until I've got it to about a half a cup and stir it back into the chocolate. And it's getting thick on us, so now it's time to cut off the fire. And I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla flavoring to it. We got, actually got like a hot fudge sauce. We're getting very close. Uh, our Savannah bow ties look so good. Look at them. And I promised you they wouldn't stick on the tin foil because of the butter that's in the puff pastry. Have you ever seen such a decadent cookie? I think it's time for a taste. I know that's why he asked me to marry him. Y'all stick around. We're going to make Paula's loaded oatmeal cookies. Yum, with a brown butter icing. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Well, is everybody ready to make my loaded oatmeal cookies? This is so, so simple. Don't let all these ingredients up here scare you because it's very, very simple and easy. We're going to take flour. We're going to see how good I am. Cloves, cinnamon, allspice, ginger, the fourth a half teaspoon of nutmeg, baking soda, baking powder, and a little salt. That was very simple, even though it looked like a lot of ingredients. So we're just going to sift those together with our all-purpose flour. So that's all we're going to do there. We're going to move on over here, and we're going to start creaming our shortening with our butter. Love me a little Crisco in with my butter. 
and we're just going to cream those together. The next thing we're going to do is add our brown sugar. So we're going to cream our brown sugar into our butter and Crisco. Now we're going to add one egg. All right, now we're going to just beat in our flour and the buttermilk. Beat it for a minute and then we're adding the last of our flour. All right, the buttermilk's worked in there. And here goes the last. going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla now. All right, the rest of the ingredients we're just going to fold in by hand. And that will be our oatmeal, our nuts. Now, I'm using a walnut and raisins, nice fat plump raisins. So we're just going to fold this all up. We've got our batter ready. I'm going to get our cookie sheets. And this time I'm going to use the parchment paper. And we're just going to see how that works in comparison to the other that we used. <laughs> I'm going to give it a light spray. I'm always grabbing Pam, aren't I? And then I'm going to drop it by the teaspoonful onto the paper. Now, one thing about cookies, the most important thing is that you make them all the same size. All right, these are ready to go into the oven, and then we're going to be checking on them in about eight or nine minutes. Now, while those are getting ready, we're going to make our brown butter icing. We're going to take a, <laughs> a stick of butter, <laughs> y'all act surprised, and we're going to melt that, and we're actually going to cook it until it's kind of a light brown. Now, you'll want to be very, very careful here because you know that butter will burn. All right, our butter is starting to brown a little bit. You can see it foaming up, and you can see it starting to change colors on us. All right. Now we're just going to add the powdered sugar and mix that up together. Put in our vanilla flavoring. All right, now we're going to start adding our water. You'll hear me say all the time, you can always add two, but you can't take out. So we'll want to do a little at the time. Kind of beat that up. And you can see it's just a nice light tan color. Let's check on the cookies and see what they look like. They should be about ready. Ooh, they look so good. All right, we're ready to drizzle. And if our consistency's not right, we'll go back. So you thought an oatmeal cookie couldn't get any better? Why don't we get them up off of that? You can see how nice that that worked for us. Don't those look delicious? I'm going to go for this one that has the most brown butter icing on it. Whole new twist to the oatmeal cookie. Y'all go pour yourself a big glass of milk and come back because I got some tips for you. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. 
I wanna just share with you a couple of quick tips that will make your cookies mouth-watering. The first thing you'll always wanna do is start with two trays so you can always drop your batter onto a cooled tray. And talking about cute little totes, this Chinese takeout just makes the cutest little carryout. And on those Magnolia Lace Trumpets, slip a little ribbon on them for a real, real festive look. How pretty is that? If you should have a cookie swap to go to, I hope that you'll consider making Paula's Loaded Oatmeal Cookies, these beautiful Magnolia Lace Trumpets, or these sinful Savannah Bowtie Cookies. So as always, y'all, I wish you best dishes from my kitchen to yours. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>